Hi, in this video we're going to look at some more angle facts. In particular we're going to look at interior and exterior angles of polygons. This is a foundation and higher topic, it's around about a grade C topic so it could appear on both papers. As ever if you want more information you can follow me or contact me on Twitter at Mr underscore G underscore Walton or our school account at Tupton Maths. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at being able to do the following things. We're going to work out some interior angles of polygons. We're actually going to calculate how we might do this. We're going to calculate the exterior angle of a regular polygon. And this is a key word, regular. And we're also going to be able to use interior and exterior angle facts to solve some worded questions. The sorts of ones where you get them in exams and you kind of think, hmm, not quite sure what to do here. Okay, example one then. We've got this shape. It says A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. It's also worth noting how we read these letters. A, B, C, D, E just means you find the first letter A and then you follow it round. B, C, D, E. So A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. Angle X is shown up here and angle Y down here. It says work out angle X. Okay, now the key word again is regular. This is a regular shape. And regular means that it's got five, in this case, equal length sides. So all these sides are of equal length. And also it has five equal angles. So this is X, this is X down here, and so is this, and so is this, and so is this. Okay, so regular means it's got the same Ang uh, size angles, same length sides. Now to work out the size of angle X, we're going to have to use some facts. Let's think about our um, pentagon. Let's draw it out here. Now a pentagon, I can split up into a series of triangles. And I would recommend that you do this for any of the polygons that you might see. Six-sided, seven-sided, eight, nine, ten, whatever, then we can split them up in triangles. The reason for doing that is that we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So here's another triangle, 180. Notice that I'm just kind of extending these parts now. And another 180. Okay. And so if I've got three lots of 180, then that must be the sum of all of the interior angles. Notice I've got one triangle here made up of these parts, these angles, and the next triangle is made up of these parts down here, and the third triangle is made up of these bits. And all of these angles make up the interior angles of my pentagon. So three lots of 180 is 540 degrees. So the total number of angles inside, or the sum of the interior angles, is 540 degrees. Now, I don't want all of them. I only want one. Here it is up here, X. I only want one of them. But because it's regular, we know that all five of these are exactly the same. So what I can do is take for 540, divide it by 5. And if you want, you can use your bus stop method or whichever way that you want to do this. I'm going to do a bit of bus stop on it. And so 5s into 5 go 1, 5 into 4, 0, 5 into 40, 8. So work out angle X. Angle X is 108 degrees. Next it says work out angle Y. Now... Let's have a think how we're going to go about angle Y. Well, typically on these sorts of questions, there's more than one way around that you can do this. I'm going to tackle it by looking only at a part of my um, pentagon, and that part is up here. Notice that what we've got is a triangle. Not just any old triangle, but an isosceles triangle with two lengths the same. Just going to sketch it out down here so we can see. So we've got 108 up here, and these two base angles being exactly the same as each other. So if I know that 
the angles, interior angles of a triangle are 180. If I take 108 away, then these two angles left must add to 72. And they're the same. We know that they're the same um, size. So what number can I add the same what numbers can I double, in effect, to get me to 72? And the answer would be 36. So each of these little bits here is 36. Okay, so this little part here is 36 degrees, and this little part here is 36 degrees. Now that's not quite answered why, the angle Y. That is 36 plus something, the Y bit, to add up to... 108. We know what all this is 108. And that's got to be 72 degrees. 36 plus something is 108. That's 72 degrees. Okay, so in this first example, we've looked at splitting up a, po uh, a polygon here, in this case a pentagon, into triangles, noting that each one's 180 degrees, to work out the total interior angle sum. And because it's regular, we then divided it by 5 in this case because it had 5 angles and we knew they're all the same. We then took the rest of the shape and decided that we're going to use some more angle facts. Um, angles in triangles we explored in um, angle video 1. And so we used some of those facts to calculate angle Y. All the time, annotating my pictures, making sure it was clear what I was doing to enable you to get the right answer here. And I'd strongly advise you doing that in an exam where you've got a picture. Okay, this is example 2. Example 2 says, show that the exterior angle of a regular pentagon is 72 degrees. Okay, well, we've just been looking at pentagons, um, and if you remember, then we could mark on here what the interior angle was. It was 108 degrees. Now, you could have worked that out in exactly the same way um, as we've just seen. The interesting thing is about this exterior angle. Now, an exterior angle isn't what you would imagine it to be. I think that an exterior angle you would you would think would be the rest of what isn't the interior angle. But that's not right. In fact, an exterior angle is actually only a small part. And it's if you were to extend the lines coming down like this. It looks a little bit like a star. Okay, so these parts, if the edges were extended out, then these smaller parts here are the exterior angles. Now, exterior angles have got a really interesting fact uh, about them, and that is that the sum of all exterior angles, so sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees. So they always add up to 360 degrees. The sum of the exterior angles adds up to 360 degrees. I've written this really badly, so I'm just going to write it again so you can read it a little bit clearer. So the sum of the exterior angles is a 360 degrees. Now, that's going to be useful information for us to be able to work out what one of these is. It says show that the exterior angle of a regular pentagon is 72. Now, one of ways you could do it, you could go about splitting up the, uh, the pentagon into triangles like we did before, working out that one of these is 108 degrees and therefore angles on a straight line means that this bit here would have to be 72. You could do that. However, there's a simpler way. And that's to say 360 degrees divided by... Five. Now, you might think, where, where, why 360 and why are you dividing it by 5? If all of these exterior angles add up to 360, and they're all the same, we know they're all the same because it says regular pentagon. So, if they're all the same, and I've got 5 of them, let's work out what 1 is. 360 divided by 5 works out to be, well again, let's do our bus stop method. How many fives go into three? None. 
How many fives into 36? 7, remainder 1. 5's into 10, goes 2. So 360 divided by 5 is 72 degrees. We've shown it. Okay, this is a really, really key um, technique and quite often appears in exams, something to do with exterior angles. And example three is now doing exactly the same thing. We're looking at an exterior angle and it's telling us something and it's asking how many sides it's got. Now, I've seen all kinds of answers for these and a typical thing that students do is we'll start trying to draw it out and have a guess. Okay, so you'll draw along and you'll think, well, 40 degrees... That's probably about that, so I'll try and try. And I, you just end up making a mess. Um, and actually, even if you do guess the right answer, a question like this will be worth more than one mark because they want to sh see that you've used some kind of formal method to be able to work out the answer. Well, let's see if we can think about it. We know that the exterior angles, or the sum of the exterior angles is 360 degrees. It says that the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 40 degrees. So 360 divided by 40. How many 40s go into 360? Well, again, we can use a little bit of common sense here and think we could just add it up. Okay, so if, you, if you're not confident at doing any other method, we could just keep adding 40 nothing wrong with that at all at this level so 240 280 320 360 and count how many i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 40 degrees how many sides does the polygon have nine it has nine sides okay here is um the chance for you to have a go at this two questions for you pause the video after i've read them out and have a go and then i'll show you how you do them the first question says calculate an interior angle of a regular nine-sided polygon the name for this just out of interest is a nonagon nonagon and part b says the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 20 degrees work out the number of sides of the polygon Okay, so have a go at both of these, pause the video, see how you can go about it, and I'll show you the answers in a minute. Okay, so the first one, you could have gone about in two different ways. You could have drawn yourself a picture of a nine-sided shape. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you could have had a go at splitting it into triangles. Oops. Let's just rub that last one out. Uh, splitting it into triangles, so you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven triangles. So seven triangles, so seven multiplied by 180, and so on and so on and so on. The math to do this is actually quite difficult, and personally I wouldn't do it this way. What I would do is use the exterior angle fact and angles on a straight line fact. So let's see if we can do it that way instead. We've got 360 degrees is the sum of the exterior angles. So 360 divided by 9 is going to give me 40. That means that what my shape's going to look like, something like this, it's going to have an exterior angle of 40. Angles on a straight line means that the interior angle would be 140 degrees. So I think that's a much easier way than getting massive numbers and then trying to divide it out. Okay, so have a think whichever way you prefer. Um, 140 degrees is the answer there. And the second one, the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 20 degrees. Work out the number of sides. Okay, so here we go again. 360 divided by 20. Um, is going to give me, and again, I'm going to kind of show you a very quick tip here. 360 divided by 20 is the same as 36 divided by 2. How, and 36 divided by 2, I'm half in 36, and I'm going to get 18. So work out the number of sides of the polygon, 18. 
Okay, right at the end of the uh, video now, this is when you can take some revision card notes. Um, when we're doing these kind of angle facts, I would always say make sure that you, well, if you're working an interior angle out, you can split it into shapes, into triangles. Each of those is 180 degrees. But more often than not, the exterior angles part would be more useful to you. Okay, so the fact that exterior angles of a polygon out of 360 is key. We can use that coupled with the um, angles on a straight line fact and be able to work out our, our interior angles that way. Practice this sort of question. Have a look in your past papers. There's nearly always a question like this. It's really key. But what you do need to be careful of is that when you're drawing these, that we make sure that we do our shapes properly and we label up what our exterior angles are okay so i'm just going to mark on here that these are my exterior angles these green ones so exterior and the ones i'm going to do on the inside i'm just going to say are my interior okay and these ones are my interior. And you'll notice that if you add both of these together, and one interior and one exterior, you, if you add them, you end up with 180 degrees. Okay, because so you've got angles on a straight line, which again we explored in the last video. Okay, as ever, good luck with any exams that you've got coming up. Keep watching the videos, keep asking any questions that you want. And if there's anything that you'd like me to do, please ask. Bye.